Hello from Wildwood. My name's Paul Whitfield. I'm the Director General of the Wildwood Trust. And it's been two weeks now since we had to close our gates to the public. And I wanted to send a message to all of you out there. You will have seen that we're making lots of videos. What we're trying to do is bring a little bit of the wonder of Wildwood to you while you're stuck at home in isolation and in lockdown. And we're going to keep doing that. But this one, it's a little bit different. What I really wanted to do is to express how grateful and lucky Wildwood is. Not only do we have these the most amazing animals, but we've got the most amazing, loyal, dedicated and caring members and supporters. It's at a time like this when that really counts. Having to shut our gates to help stop the spread of the coronavirus means that you can't come and visit us. It means that we can't sell tickets or sell food or gifts from our shop. And that has a huge financial impact. But Wildwood's mission carries on, even when we're closed. We still look after animals, and we're still doing our important conservation work. It costs over £11,000 a week to look after our animals, to feed them, to give them enrichment, and to look after them and maintain their enclosures. The only reason that we can survive at a time like this is because of you. It's only because of our members continuously supporting us and our supporters giving us online donations that we're able to know that we can make it through a time like this. I have been overwhelmed and deeply touched by the amazing supportive comments that we received from so many of you. It means so much to us all here at Wildwood that you understand the importance of the work that we do. Because of this, we're able to carry on with our rescue and conservation work that really makes a difference. You might have seen that we're in the process of trying to rescue two orphaned bear cubs from Albania. We have an appeal running to try and build them a, a forever home, a woodland paradise in our park in Devon. Sadly, two attempts to release those cubs back into the wild failed, and they need a home where they can thrive and live a life as close to what that life of a natural bear should be. We've done that before with Fluff and Scruff here in Kent. But don't worry, we can, with your support, still rescue those cubs. We have a cunning plan. This sort of rescue work is deeply important to us and we can still make it happen. In fact, the cubs should be arriving here in Kent for a few months towards the end of the summer. We will hold them here temporarily while all the arrangements are made to build their fantastic woodland paradise in Devon and then they'll be heading down there hopefully for next Easter. Unfortunately this pandemic is also having an impact on our important conservation work. Wildwood breeds the rare and wonderful dormouse as part of a national reintroduction program. Sadly because of the impact of the coronavirus there's going to be no release of dormice from that program this year. This means building more dormouse enclosures and more of our time spent feeding and looking after these rare and endangered animals. We also have many other conservation projects that we're working on. Many of those are in partnership with Kent Wildlife Trust as part of the Wild Kent Initiative. And it's essential that we carry on doing that work, even at a time like this. In fact, that sort of work is now more important than ever. We face a nature and climate crisis that could make the coronavirus pandemic look like a walk in the park. But we have the solution to that crisis. It's nature and native species. Using native species to restore missing natural processes to our wild spaces really is the key to solving this crisis. So it's really important that we keep working on those important projects. It's essential that we have those positive, optimistic plans in place for the future. We are utterly committed to looking after our animals and we will do so no matter what happens and no matter how long this crisis lasts. But we do need any help that people can give us so that when the time is right and when it's safe to do so we can open again and you can all come and visit. We can do some amazing things when we all work together. So thank you. Thank you so much. It is only with all your help that we're able to make all these wonderful things possible.